To create a new user in Windows 11, right click on the start button and click on settings. Click on accounts on the left hand side and scroll down until you see other users. Click on other users and then next to add other users, click on the add account button. Now you can sign in with the Microsoft account, which would be your Microsoft email and password. But in this case, we're going to make a new local account. So we're going to click on, I don't have this person's sign in information. And then we're going to click on add a user without a Microsoft account. Now here we can type in the user's name and if you like you can add in a password. Let's add one in. And new fields will appear below where they'll ask you different questions for security purposes in case you need to retrieve your password if you've forgotten it. So there's a selection of questions. You could put in what was your first pet's name. And you can put in the city you were born in, for example. And say the city where your parents first met. Click Next. And you'll see that the new account shows up in the account list. Now at this point, it's just a standard local account. We can click on the little arrow here on the right hand side. And next to account options, we can click on change account type. And we can switch it from being a standard user to being an administrator. That way, the user can install software, do updates, and do change any of the computer settings, etc. So we'll click OK to that. And now it shows that it's an administrator there. If you ever needed to delete the account, you can see it in the list, click on the little arrow, and you could click on Remove, and it will give you the option to remove the account and the data if you wish, or to leave the data there in terms of you know document folders, etc. But of course, having just created it, we will leave it alone at the moment. Now let's log into it. All right. So currently, we're logged in as owner. If we click on owner here, we can click sign out. And what we'll see in the bottom left hand corner, if we click on the screen, is that the new account has been added. So we click on tutorials, which is the new, new account we created, put in the password, and click the little arrow to jump in. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> Always remember your password, folks. There we go. So this is the initial setup that you'll see when you first log in to any account on Windows 11. This might take a few minutes. Generally on a half decent system, it doesn't take too long. Basically, right now it's setting up the core files, you know, the, and the folders, the documents folder, music folder, all that kind of thing. Putting up your desktop and any default icons, etc. Now it's going to ask us the basic questions. So, do you want to let Microsoft and apps use your location? Generally speaking, I say yes to this one. Click on accept. Right now, pretty much for the rest of them. I use the bottom option, which is no or the more limited option, right? So find my device. That's not going to work without a Microsoft account. This is a local account. We don't want to get into doing the Microsoft thing. 
So we're going to say no and accept. Diagnostic data to Microsoft. You can limit the amount of Microsoft uh, Windows data that goes to Microsoft. So go ahead and click on required only and accept. And then this is all stuff that would track what you're doing and you know help Microsoft improve their offerings. But again, the less complexity on the system, the better. So I generally choose the lower of the two, advertising IDs, etc. I don't particularly like targeted advertising. Anyway, we go through in that way, or you can adjust that to your taste. And eventually we are here at the desktop and you are now in your new account.